If you find yourself on the Cape on a day that's less than beachy, there's still plenty to explore. Art, food, and one destination that hosts hundreds of adventures. You are my first stop on the bookstore trail. Oh, so <laughs> exciting. It's such a fun thing to do. Do you have a color preference for your sticker? Oh, um, how about Chronicle Red? Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Kristen Young is the owner of Below the Brine Bookshop, one of 23 bookstores on the Cape and Islands bookstore trail. I think we're so lucky, especially here on the Cape, that so many people do make an effort to shop locally and to support local bookstores. The map shows bookworms where to shop and provides a spot to collect a sticker from each one. In addition to having customers who really try to support us, the bookstores all support one another. After working as an English teacher and a newspaper journalist, Young opened her store in 2021. I thought to myself, well, what do I want to do that would be using language and literature but also be really fun? So it's this one right here. Yes, um, that's, yes, I'm yeah. reading this. I grew up in Harwich. I went to school here, and it's always just been a really happy place. This location also gave Young a chance to augment Harwich Port's ongoing revitalization. I really wanted to be a part of that. Below the Brine specializes in new releases, but its moniker is an excerpt from a century-old Walt Whitman poem. It's really about sort of what happens when you break through the surface of the sea and you look around underneath the water and you see a whole new world. That is the way it can be when you open up a book for the first time and you sort of dive into a different world. The work of artists Lauren D. Ferdinando and Luther Bates feels like a deep dive into open water where the waves soothe you into a quiet calm. We were able to combine these two worlds, bringing the ocean into people's lives in a way that I don't know has ever been done before. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Co-owners of the Nines Gallery and parents to Little Crew, the collaboration between this husband and wife extends all the way from the ocean to the easel. I've been painting glass since college. I love the light and the translucency, and I always wanted to paint the ocean. When I met Luther and went out on his fishing boat, I was looking at the ocean like, this is a reference that I always wanted, but I couldn't get it from the beach because I wanted the open ocean. I just had a camera kicking around all the time and I thought, why don't I just take some pictures while I'm out there? Over time, Bates' photos developed into the perfect snapshot for Dee Ferdinando to paint. And as it turns out, works of art in their own right. Hang over the side of the boat and I wait for the boat to rock down and it pauses for just like that split second before it comes back up and I try to time it so at least I have that moment of maybe paused action and just try to get cool shots of water. <laughs> now the pair sells Bates photos and Di Ferdinando's paintings on canvas or printed on paper or metal. I never had expected a pathway like that to ever open up and so when it did it was, it was like this is awesome. And art is what brought Lauren and Luther together. He was involved with woodworking. She was looking for frames for her artwork. They say they met, and about a half hour later, they started dating. Less <laughs> than a year, they had a gallery together, and that's also where they had their wedding Aww. reception. So when you know, you know. He knew. <laughs> and that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night.